thanks for the visits and thanks for the click. I appreciate your visit to this platform. I am Dalen Fee. Please make sure you subscribe. This is the only platform as a virtual partner in mathematics where every technicality, all the tricks that you need to pass your mathematics examination. So we want to make sure that we go through an exciting topic today for you to be able to use your calculator to solve virtually every question in mathematics. If you are ready, I am ready. Come on now, let's go. This is just a quick video. This is a trick that you need to know in order to solve any question on modulo arithmetic in examination. In fact, your calculator has been programmed in a way that you should be able to do these things in just less than two seconds. Okay, so let's go through the process. Now, we know that in modulo arithmetic, our interest is finding the remainder when a number is divided by a given modulo. So, for example, given 10 mod 4 <coughs> is equal to 2. This means when you divide um, 10 by 4, you will get 2. Okay, and then again, 23 in mode 5, the answer is 3. That is when 5 divide 23, the remainder is going to be um, 3. And we can do this so easily. We'll come to the third example. So let's go to the trick. Now, the steps that you need to follow is that first you press the mode, and then you press the number 4. So you press the mode, and then you pick option 4. That is number basis, so let's take option 4. Now, at all times, if you are using your calculator to solve modulo arithmetic, make sure that you see deck, that is decimal, on the surface of the calculator, okay? So this is so, so important. Now, let's see. To be able to use your calculator to solve modulo in just two seconds, we are going to use this expression. X minus X divided by Y times Y. Let's explain. So let's say we have this, x mod y, okay, x, so x will stand for the number you are going to divide, and then the y will stand for the modulo. So in this example, our x is going to be 10, and then the y is going to be 4. So using this simple formula, it's going to be x minus x, so here, if our x is 10, okay, and the y is um, 4, in place of the x, we'll put 10 there. And then in place of the y, we are going to put 4 there. So when we use this first example to solve modulo question, it's going to be 10 minus 10 because x is 10. And then divided by the, the y is 4. So divided by y is 4 times 4. And that is it. So let's try it and see. So our x is 10. So we have 10, okay, minus 10. That is x minus x, then divided by, so divided by, the y is the modulo, okay? So divided by 4 times 4, because we have y times y. Let's see what we get, then press the equal sign. Voila, we are there. So that means this is a simple way of using calculator to solve modulo. Let's do it with the other example. 23 mod 5, let's see what we get. When, 20, uh, when 5 divide 23 what do we get so remember the x is 23 and then the y is 5 so we are having 23 minus 23 then we divide by y and the y is 5 so that is 5 times 5 let's see bam we are there so that is 3 again let's use the same concept for this Remember in school, you were taught that when the modulo is bigger than the number, the answer is the, is the number, okay? So here, 4 divided by, uh, 4 divided 3, obviously, the number is 3, and then the modulo is 4. So the modulo is bigger than the number. Let's see if we can get the same answer. So let's see. So the x is 3, and then the y is 4. So we have 3 minus 3. Then you divide that by 4 times 4. So what do you get? Bam. That is 3. Okay. So what about having a bigger value? Okay. Having a bigger value. Let's say we are dealing with um, 198 in mode 7. So let's go. 
So x is 198 and then the y is 7. So 198 minus 198. So I have it there. Then divided by y is 7. So 7 times 7. What do we get? That is 1. Okay, so when 7 divide 198, the remainder is going to be 1. Now, let's try a bigger number. Let's say we have um, 2897. Okay, now 2897 in modulo 17. So x is 2897 and the y is 17. So 2897 divide by minus 2897. Then we divide that by 17. So 17 times 17, what do we get? So 17 times 17, what do we get? Bam, 7. So this is a quick one. It is a way of equipping you to ensure that when you enter into examination to write mathematics with this calculator or any other 991 ES calculator, you know that you have a powerful computer and you should not go and write math and go back and write NovTech. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a good day. Bye-bye.